The Deputy Governor of Delta State, Samode Eyeme, and his wife, Ezine Catherine, have been honored by students of the Federal College of Education Technical Asaba for positively shaping the institution. Sir and Lady Eyeme bagged the award as seniors friends of the college during the 10th anniversary celebration held in Asaba under the auspices of the Education Student Association of Nigeria. Lady Eyeme, who also represented her husband, expressed gratitude to the students and management of the college, as well as the University of Benin for affiliating with the college in handing down knowledge to the students. She said the affiliation with the University of Benin has opened doors to countless opportunities, providing the students with a world-class education and preparing them for success in the near future. The deputy governor's wife promised her commitment to nurture the bond between the two institutions by offering guidance and support whenever it's needed. According to her, it was a milestone celebration and a moment to recognize the success stories that has emerged from the institution. She noted that the student must work hard with the mindset of graduating from the college armed with knowledge and be ready to face the challenge of the world. The provost of the college, Dr. Josephine Anene Okeakwa, commended the deputy governor and wife for their support to the institution. She also charged students to remain focused in their academic pursuits and discipline in line with the school mandate with a view to enhancing quality, manpower, and societal development. Ella, the president of the student union body, Comrade Samadina Posi, acknowledged the outstanding contribution of Sir Eime, his wife, and other awardees to the growth and development of the college in 1987. The student union president, Sir Eime, served in the college as a bossa between 2005 and 2006. During his tenure, he recorded an exemplary model for account keeping. According to her, the deputy governor was very active in student matters and responsive to student welfare. It was on this note that the college honored him as the grand patron of the school. Comrade Samadina described Lady Ayime as an accomplished woman who in various ways supported the ambition of vulnerable women and children in need, as well as a philanthropist and an advocate for women, children, and students, saying this also led to her being awarded honor as a mother and friend of the college.